I just did something that made me think I should probably just tip people off on this sort of thing. What I do, I'm driving to work. I've just got a little bit of work to do. But I figured as long as it was a nice enough day, I could get out with a pickup. I'm driving my 64 Chevy pickup rather than the jetpack. You know, so I'm going a blaze at 45 miles an hour. She'll cruise that 50 nicely. But what I was going to bring up was a thing that I do with this. At home, I use the 12 volt car batteries and an inverter to charge up my laptop. I haven't run my generator for a long time now. I just don't need to. But what I do, I'll run off a car battery and when it gets low, I'll, I'll take it with me when I go someplace with a pickup. And this, these old vehicles, you can actually pull the battery out while they're running. You know, so I get part way, I'll just stop on the road and let the vehicle idle, switch batteries, and then charge up the battery that was low. Because this thing has got, you know, when I put a new alternator on this years ago, and it's, the one that's on here is like 95 amp or something now. I put, I think it came with a 60 and I put a big alternator on it just for this sort of thing. Because, you know, like a regular, say a, a thousand amp hour battery, if you try to run that, like on a charger, it takes a long time to really get a charge in them. You know, it, but in a vehicle, you drive like 20 miles, it's fully charged. You know, and as long as the motor's running, it's no big strain on it to put that little extra load on. So it's a good way of doing it, an uh, economical way to do it, and it's very convenient, but it only works with the older vehicles, you know, that, that will run without a battery in them, so you can make that swap. But I've done this for years, you know, and I'm sure people are like, oh, it's going to burn out the electronics. you got no electronics on these old ones. You know, it's a pretty straightforward setup. Uh, years ago, I used to do it. I had a, it was a Chrysler alternator that I hooked on with a belt to an old Briggs and Strat, one of them real old, like a horse, horse and a half, something like that. And I would use that to charge up batteries. And that worked very well. And I should actually get that going again sometime and show you. Because, like say, most of your generator that you buy, you know, your high output, you know, the 120 volt generators, some of them will have a 12 volt charge outlet on them. But most of them, are, you're talking 6 amps or 15 amps, you know, very little. And you can't run it at the same time as you're using power off the generator or it really drags it down. But just swap it in a vehicle, it works really well. It's just something to keep in mind, you know, because like I say, it probably cost you maybe a nickel worth of gas to charge up that battery.